Hi, this is Heather from Dutch Dragonfly and welcome back to the channel. Today we're making the Tobacco Leaf and Amber Face Soap because this is such a popular soap amongst our male customers. I figured the females would like it as well considering everybody that I speak to actually loves the scent and I've had quite a few people actually ask me if I could make body soap for them, face soap, that sort of thing. So that's what we're doing today. I started off with cooler oils than I normally do, so this is uh, emulsifying fairly quickly. Um, I'm actually quite impressed. I don't normally soap with cool oils, but it seemed to work out, um, at least until I added the fragrance oil, which you will see in just a few minutes. So now I'm getting ready, I'm pouring off some so that I can get ready to um, color two different batches or two different colors into the soaps. And there's the second one. I love these little cups, they make um, splitting my batches for colorants easy because they're easier to handle. This is just a small batch. I'm only doing eight face bars in this batch. So into that first one there, I put um, the fragrance oil and kaolin clay. And into the second one, I put the fragrance oil and French yellow clay. So I'm only coloring with clays this time, which is normal for my tobacco leaf and amber soaps. And you can see from that that the yellow actually turns into quite a nice golden yellow. And the kale and clay tends to stay a little bit whiter. Although both will discolor due to the uh, vanilla in the fragrance oil. And I'm just layering them into the larger bowl. It will enable a swirl effect in the individual bars because I'm not doing them up as a loaf this time. I'm actually going to be doing them up in uh, individual bars. You'll see in just a minute. And this layering technique adds for a pretty swirl making sure that each bar will have both colors. And I did fragrance them equally so I don't need to worry about that either. Now, as you can see, my batter is actually quite thick, which is um, not something that I like to work with with this kind of swirling technique. Um, but the reason for that was because I started off with cooler oils and had to make sure that I actually had reached emulsion as opposed to not mixing it quite enough so that it would be uh, completely separating by the end of it. If you don't get to emulsion, it separates. Now, as you can see, I am using individual molds here. Each of these bars are going to be, I think it's about two inches top to bottom. Could be one and three quarters. They're actually going to be quite thick, but they're the same size as my heart-shaped bars as far as volume and the amount of weight that they will hold. So this here, I'm tapping it down to uh, make sure that, I'm not ha that I don't have any air bubbles. And I will have this entire mold of eight individual bars completely full with this. Because tobacco leaf and amber is one of our more popular scents, um, I decided to go with a full batch for this instead of um, half batches, which I normally do for my face soaps. 
because I anticipate these will sell out fairly well. The one thing about using individual molds that I really am not fond of is the mess. I tend to be a clean soaper. I don't like mess on the side of the mold. And as you can see, this can get pretty messy, which doesn't excite me. But that's okay. They turn into really nice bars anyway. Tap, tap, tap. Down it goes. Now, because of the thickness of this batter, I'm liable to have some air pockets anyway, um, but I don't think they'll be overly big. Yeah, I just noticed that top one didn't have a lot in it, so try and add to it a little bit. Now you can see as I've got the bowl lifted there, the different you can tell the different colors, like the separation between the two colors. That's one of the benefits to having a thicker batter. They don't get muddied up together. You can actually distinguish the two different colors, which is nice. And this mold is just about done. Tap that down just a little bit more and we will be able to even them off. Make sure they're all even. So that all the bars are about the same size. And I'm sorry that part of my mold is not in the camera view here. I'm still working on my setup and figuring out where the camera is able to see. But basically what I'm doing on the lower half of the mold is what I'm doing on the upper half as well. Just making sure everything's even and flat. There they are. And I thought I had enough batter to be able to do one more of those individuals, but um, so you'll see me go to put down another mold there. And in scraping it down in the bowl, I discovered that I just simply don't have enough to be able to do that. So you'll see me drop my sample mold down in just a second. So the good news is with this tobacco leaf and amber soap, I do have sample size bars, which are about five grams a piece that I will be able to sell. Usually when I do sample size um, batches, I sell five for the same price as um, a regular bar of soap. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Um, I said five grams, but I'm not sure. I haven't actually weighed them in quite a while. They could be upwards to 20 grams. I'm not sure why I would sell five, five gram for the same price. So they may be 20 grams. I will, um, recalculate that at some point. Now there are three samples there. Again, I'm not, I'm still getting used to my setup and where my camera can see, but there is a third sample there down on the bottom left-hand side of the screen that you cannot see. I can't remember if I show you or not. 
not that I have three of them. And I'm just taking what's left on the other mold, taking it all off, trying to clean it up a bit. I don't like the messiness on the mold. I think the molding of the soap is actually the longest process. It takes the longest because I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist because once the soap batter saponifies and becomes hard and can be taken, there you go, there's three of them there, um, and can be taken out of the molds, that's what people see. So I want them to look good, you know? And here we go to... So we've got eight full-size bars and three sample bars there, which is kind of nice. I'll be uh, taking my sample bars along when I go to my next show. And here we go. Now you get to see what they look like coming out of the molds. They were still a little sticky, which I was a lot, rather surprised about. But you can see that there are still a few small air pockets there that won't um, affect the quality of the soap at all. And again, you can see the differences in color between the yellow clay and the kaolin clay. <clears throat> Believe me, once I got all this soap out, this mold went directly into the sink because that is one of my biggest pet peeves is having soap batter on the outside of the mold that I can't use. Look at that. You can see the different colors in there. And it smelled absolutely amazing coming out of these mold, these individual molds. There, see, you can definitely tell that there's two different colors in there, and those air pockets. I think they're really cute. It's the first time I've done a face soap in this fragrance. So it is my hope that they are as popular as the other soaps that I've done up in the same fragrance. I have no reason to think that they wouldn't be. And these are the sample size. See how cute they are? You know, it's enough to wash your face a few dozen times, and or maybe a dozen times. I've never actually used one of these sample size soaps myself, so I can't tell you just how long that they last, but lather up a cloth and give your face a wash. And there you are. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Click like and subscribe, and we will catch you the next time.